Now, what's a mind on this view? On the physicalist view, it's still perfectly legitimate to talk about minds. The point, though, is that from the physicalist perspective, the best thing to say is talk about a mind is a way of talking about these various mental abilities of the body. A way, uh, we, we, we nominalize it, we, we talk about it using a noun, the mind, but talk of the mind is just a way of talking about these abilities that the body has when it's functioning properly. This is similar, let's say, to talking about a smile. Right? We, you know, we believe that there are smiles. Physicalists don't deny that there are minds, just like we don't deny, we all believe that there are smiles. But what is a smile? Well, a smile is just a way of talking about the ability of the body to do something, you know, this characteristic thing we do with our lips exposing our teeth and so forth, you know. Right? There's a smile, whether dorky smile, but there's a smile. Now, if you were listing the parts of the body, you know, you would list the teeth, you would list the lips, you would list the gums, you would list the, the tongue, but you wouldn't list the smile. So, you know, should we conclude as dualists that, well, smiles are these extra non-physical things, you know, that, that have a special intimate relationship with bodies? Well, you could imagine a view like that, but it would be rather a silly view. Talking of a smile, talk about a smile, is just a way of talking about the body's ability to smile. There's no extra part. Even though we have a noun, the smile, that, you know, if you're not careful, might lull you into thinking there must be a thing, the smile, and then you'd have all these metaphysical conundrums. Where is the smile located? Well, it seems to be in the vicinity of the mouth, right? But, but, you know, but the smile isn't the lips, the smile isn't the teeth, you know, so it must be something non-physical. No, that would just be, you know, a silly way to think about smiles. Talk of smiles is just a way of talking about the ability of the, of the body to smile, to form a smile. That's an ability that we have, our bodies have. Similarly then, according to the physicalist, talk of the mind, despite the fact that we have a noun there, is just a way of talking about the abilities of the body to do various things. The, the mind is just a way of talking about the fact that our body can think, can communicate, can plan, can, can deliberate, can, can be creative, can write poetry, can, can fall in love. Talk of all of those things is what we mean by the mind, but there's no extra thing, the mind, above and beyond the body.